Hey guys, my name is Kasim, and here's some more gaming news for the week. Over the last couple of days, we had a lot of Pokemon news being dropped on us, so I'm gonna try to just compress all that information in this video here. Firstly, the original three Pokemon starters, aka Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur, are gonna be in Mario Maker, and they're gonna be costumes in this game. So there's a trailer out already, and if you guys haven't seen it yet, you guys can check that out on my channel. So Mario Maker here is trying to be super authentic, so it allows you to choose three different doors, and each door represents a different Pokemon. And once you pick that Pokemon, the initial level actually changes depending on the type of Pokemon you have. So obviously if you have Bulbasaur, there's going to be more plant-based and grass-based stuff in the level. Whereas if you pick Charmander, it's going to be more fire-based. So they try to stick uh, really close to that authentic feel of Pokemon where you get to choose different type of Pokemon. And then also it tries to represent each Pokemon type. So that was pretty cool by Mario Maker. And uh, another side note here is that these Pokemon can actually make uh, sounds from like the original GBA games if you press a certain button. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, no other Pokemon so far has been able to do that in Mario Maker. Second up on our list is Pokemon is going to be invading Splatoon. And this is going to be through Splatfest. Now for those of you guys who don't know, Splatfest is an event-paced game in, within Splatoon where you get to choose a team and you get a temporary shirt to represent what team you're on. And at the end, the scores are tallied, and the winning team gets special perks and upgrades for their characters within the game. So for Pokemon, there's going to be a worldwide, apparently a worldwide Splatfest, uh, but they're going to be uh, separating each event by region. So for North America, you can choose either Team Pokemon Red or Team Pokemon Blue, whereas in Japan, you choose Team Pokemon Red or Team Pokemon Green. So they're going to be split by region, so each region is going to have their own winner. And to choose which, which team you're on, you go into the Splatoon game and go to Inkopolis Plaza and go choose your team there. And this event is going to be taking place next weekend. In North America, it's going to be starting on February 19th at 10 p.m. Pacific. And it's going to last up until February 20th to 10 p.m. Pacific. So it's going to be a 24-hour event. Now, as I stated earlier, it's a worldwide event. So for Europe, they also have times for those. And it's going to be 4 p.m. CET on February 20th to 4 p.m. CET on February 21st. And then also in Japan, it's going to be arriving at 6 a.m. on February 20th and last until 6 a.m. on February 21st. So those are the times for each region. Like I said, you go to Inkopolis Plaza to pick your team and then you just uh, yeah play Splatfest and the winner gets some extra gear for their character. And finally, I did report on Pokemon Go being at GDC earlier, um, but we didn't have a date or time specifically. All it said was to be announced. And finally, we have that on the GDC website. So it's going to be taking place on the first day of GDC, which is March 14th. And it's going to be between the times of 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. So it's a half an hour session. And uh, apparently, they're going to be showing off Pokemon Go there, showing how it works and everything. So it's going to be a pretty good event for Pokemon Go fans like myself. So that was pretty much it guys for the Pokemon news this week. If you guys enjoyed this uh, content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you guys enjoy Pokemon in general or Nintendo or PlayStation, uh, please subscribe to this channel. I'll try to keep you guys up to date on all things in those areas. And also, uh, let me know in the comment section what team you're on. Team Red, Team Blue, or Team uh, Green. Uh, let me know which one you're going to be on. And uh, let's just talk about Pokemon in general. It's going to be a good year for them because it's uh, their 20th anniversary. And I can't wait to see what else they have in store. Uh, for us in this coming year. So thanks again for watching guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright guys thanks. Bye.